Hi, my name's Shannon, and these are some of my favorite YouTube channels for homeschoolers. I've broken them down by subject, and we're going to get started with science. One of my favorite science YouTube channels is Vsauce. They ask really crazy questions, but then they go through all of the science to help you figure out the answer, and they also do some really cool science experiments. If you haven't checked out Vsauce yet, I'll leave a link in the description below, and you should definitely check them out salt added to these fresh frog legs makes them dance. Vaccine the next the science YouTube channel to check out soil. is Steve Spangler. I'm Steve Spangler and I'm all about making science fun. For the last 20 years, I've been teaching ways to turn ordinary science experiments into unforgettable learning experiences. I have an amazing team Unlike Vsauce, everything on Steve Spangler's channel, you can easily recreate at home. One Here's a video of me making his smoke right, ring shooter. I'll attach a link to both of these videos in the description below. Moving on to the next subject, math. For math, I highly recommend looking up number file. These are a lot of people who really, really enjoy math. And for somebody like me who does not enjoy math, they make it very interesting. They take subjects that apply to real life and they turn it into a math experiment. Here's one where they show you the mathematics behind pool. It's really interesting. Definitely check out number file. When you rebound something against a surface, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Whenever it is positioned on this focus point, wherever I hit it, it will go in. Moving right along to history. Now, if you haven't discovered the TED Ed website yet, this is a homeschooling dream come true. TED Ed branches off of TED Talks and they do three minute animated lessons uh, straight from a real teacher. And they do little question and answers after the quiz. Uh, this is one of my favorite videos from TED Ed and it is about life in, as a Roman teenager. Definitely look at the TED Ed website. They have a lot of videos on things other than history, but the history ones tend to be my favorite. Check it out. You make public speeches and how to read and write both Latin and Greek. His father has taught him the types of things you can't learn in the classroom. Crash Course is another awesome channel for history. They have other videos on other subjects too, but I really like the history ones. Now this channel is run by John Green, and he has a lot of really detailed, interesting videos that they also animate really well. The videos are fast paced, but they pack a lot of information into them. Take a look for yourself and find out just how much you can learn. Railroads made shipping cheaper and more efficient and allowed people to move around the country quickly. And they had a huge backer, also a tiny backer, in the form of Illinois Congressman Stephen Douglas, who wanted a transcontinental railroad because one, he felt it would bind the Union together at a time when it could use some binding, and two, he figured it would go through Illinois, which would be good for his home state. Of all the videos that I watch on YouTube, these are the ones I find myself re-watching the most. Remember Ted Ed? They have an awesome show called Mysteries of the Vernacular, where they take a word and they diagram it, and they give you the entire history of the word, all the way from the Greeks until how it got into the English language. It's also one of the most beautifully animated shows I've seen on YouTube. Definitely check it out and consider adding some of these words to your next vocab list. Powerful than gunpowder, he named this material dynamite from the Greek dunamis, meaning power, and the common scientific suffix it. it okay, it's a bit of a stretch to call this social studies, but there's a guy named Tommy Edison who has been blind since birth, and he just makes awesome YouTube videos about what it's like to be blind. He also has a great sense of humor, and you should definitely check his channel out. I guess it's like a ball, right? It's like a big, what, like a yellow ball of fire? Or a red ball? I don't know. What color is the sun? <laughs> Same color as the daughter. <laughs> the last show that I want to talk to you about is Good Eats. Some of his stuff is available on YouTube, but it's better if you can watch him on Netflix. This is a show by Alton Brown, 
and he does everything. He does science, he does cooking, he does history, and it's all wrapped up into one show called Good Eats. Definitely, definitely go and watch this show. Cutting near an open flame works surprisingly well. The flames create convection, pulling in air and most of the fumes, which are then incinerated. In the end, though, a sharp knife is your best defense because it damages fewer cells. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got some great ideas for YouTube videos that can kickstart your homeschooling experience. Please like and leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button.